to, com to construct the old traditional, what we believe uh, was traditional. So I think it's gonna be a difficult task to figure this one out in Northwest Lincoln, but we wanna do it right. I think the point is clear. We wanna do it right. We wanna be consistent with the programs and the, and the facilities that we've built in the past. And we will feel fully uh, uh, work hard to, to do that. But as you know, we haven't had the solution from the staff side the last three or four years. We've been asking that question and we're looking for your support and help. Steve, Steve McKenna. Well, I, I would just add that the, the beauty of the process being that it's 2017 right now, and we're going to receive some uh, some pretty valuable input on a strategic plan that the board's going to have an opportunity to really immerse themselves in, is that we have time to think about this. And so I, I would just remind us that this is the invitation that, that boards really regard highly to think about things differently. I mean, now's the window, now's the time, but there's a lot of different factors. And one of them, of course, is community satisfaction and what the community is going to want. And you know, at the end of the day, there might be a tolerance for some dramatic change, looking at different configurations, looking at <coughs> different ways to deliver, or it could be what we have is what we like, and we're very, very impressed with it. But I think that we ought to be thinking about as a board and a staff, how do we construct those conversations? Because even though we may think we have three or four years, those three or four years are gonna go by fast. I've never been a person that says, um, well, we tried that before, so we're never going to try it again, because that's not my mantra. Sometimes you tried something before, and you just didn't implement it well. We've experimented in the past with Montessori's. We've experimented in the past with uh, uh, larger facilities, going back to smaller facilities. My observation of all of those things is they work really, really well if the principal in the building is invested in whatever we put in that program, and that's what leads the program. Then when that principal leaves, and you have to get someone in to carry that same vision, that's where I've seen the programs over the last 25, 30 years uh, stumble. Sometimes they fall, sometimes they completely fail. I remember when they tried the alternative schedule at Belmont, and it was a year-round schedule. And the parents that opted for the program loved it, except when they needed their middle school kid who was on a traditional schedule to babysit, or the high school child to bring them to school. So as we struggle or uh, work towards a, a long-term solution, we probably need to look at what's been tried and why did it, why is it no longer in place? And we also need to look, I agree with Barb, 195% on equity. And, Equity in facilities, equity in what we offer in programming across this district is why we're a flagship district. We don't go anywhere in Lincoln, and I heard that at the last two open houses I went to. We are so proud that a community will invest the same resources in not only dollars to upgrade a building, but in the staff and programming that we put in it. The staff and the neighborhood, five generations of families in the same neighborhoods all across this city. That's a huge huge response to us. So equity is important when we do this. Don't just look and say, you know, we can try that over there and if it doesn't work, oh well. We've never done that in the past. I don't expect we will do it again, but we have a lot of data and a lot of experience and probably a lot of people we could draw on. And I wish I weren't so old and had been around here so long, so. <laughs> Any other comments? You know, the only comment I, I would like to make is that I think now is the time that all of us need to be listening to our constituents, hearing what everyone has to say, because you're right, we're one community, and we're one district, and we are the leaders. So we need to listen to what everyone has to say to us and make sure we're doing what our community wants, because if we're going to do it, now's the time. Now's the time that we can be the leaders that add something that is innovative, that is out of the box, that our community wants, so that we <coughs> remain the one district. So thank you. I'd like to. Uh, so I've been pretty quiet tonight, taking all of us in, uh, and I think that the conversation is very good. Uh, and I think that you know there are a lot of key points here that uh, board members have been uh, articulating, and staff has been articulating uh, for most of the last year or two. Uh, the conversation about uh, equity, I think, is very important. Uh, as Barb is rightly pointing out, the history of of uh, you know things where we had not made the best decisions there. I think. Uh, I think to Annie's point too, uh, you know, it's doing something a little bit uh, different somewhere does not necessarily make it uh, worse or uh, inequitable. Um, 
I remember years ago uh, being very wanting to be more aggressive about uh, our distance and online learning. Uh, that's not a new concept. I know it's been around for years, and I've been pushing for it. And one of the dependencies, of course, was uh, increasing uh, you know, the devices that we had uh, in uh, kids' hands and getting the internet uh, infrastructure built out. Uh, I think that having more technology like we do now is going to uh, open up some options for us. But whether it ends up being uh, something that's technology-based or scheduling or whatever else, I, and I, I'm with Steve 100% that we are right on the cusp here of getting this information back from the strategic plan. Uh, and I think that the key word for us over the next uh, several years is going to be innovation. And I think we're going to have to really seriously be looking at, uh, I, I think all options need to be on the table. Uh, as we, uh, you know, seriously rethink what it means to deliver curriculum in Lincoln Public Schools. So, to be honest, I, I, I mean, I know that we're looking, we're, we're talking about concerns, we're talking about problems, not having enough space. But to me, it's kind of exciting because I feel like we're right on the edge of uh, coming up with something very new. And so, I'm looking very forward to having those conversations over the over the next uh, couple of years. Anyone else? Anything else from you, Scott? We only have a couple of slides left, but you've all kind of closed very well, so <laughs> we're really pretty close. This was just a slide to share with you that came from an assignment, came from one of the board members planning about the fact that we just don't go build a building because there's a lot of rooftops and there's growth. We really manage and monitor every building every day. We talk with principals, we communicate with staff. Uh, and the process has proven itself. You know, at North Star, we, we uh, adjusted a sign-up deadline, approval deadline. We've made schedule modifications. We've used modular portable classrooms. Um, we've made some facility modifications within, and all those are to address growth and stress at buildings, and we do that with all of our buildings. That process doesn't change. I don't care what building you go to. And ultimately, uh, then maybe an addition or a new building occurs based on that growth and that stress. And so it's a fluid process. Um, it's one that's been in, been around for a long time. Uh, and, I, and I think the district just does a great job of doing that. And I think maybe in closing from our side, um, you have a copy of the 10 year plan, facility plan and infrastructure plan. It says draft on it. It is a draft. It's going to continue to change. It changes every day until you approve it, and then it's really approved in time. And it's a tool or a framework for us to continue. But uh, credit back to the board again for what you've done for the district and the community the last 10 or 15 years, and even boards before you. But this planning and organization has really helped us have a roadmap to, to get the things done that you want done. And I think our communities benefited from that. So. Thanks for your time tonight, and we'll field more questions or assignments if you want, because we know there's more work to do. Do our questions come to you, or do you want us to get them to Lanny? Because I'm going to have a whole bunch of questions on the on the tenure plan itself. It's just that I want to hear the presentation before I formulated those. One of our homework assignments from the last work session was to start a Q&A. So I've started that with some of the basic questions of what's the history of this, when was it started, what is the 10-year plan? Um, but just keep the questions coming, and we'll keep working on a document that we'll share with you. Um, that will also be a tool we can put on the website. And so that is the goal, is to have that running Q&A. So feel free to send them myself or Lanny, or yeah, we'll share them back and forth. We'll get them to each other. Anything else? OK, I do not have a request for closed session. And so we are adjourned. Thank you.